By the power of Grayskull! Hello, this is just a quick review for Spy Chameleon on the PS4. It's free to download this month on uh, PlayStation Plus, if you remember. Um, it's basically just like an overhead, top, like top-down view kind of thing, like a bird's eye view, um, like a puzzle game, where you just basically have to get from one side of the room to the other. Um, or like through the exit wherever it is um, but you can change your color or you've got to collect those little flies and you've got to avoid things like this I'm a bit basically I'm doing the the tutorial if you look at the top left it's literally level two um, so I'm just you know when getting used to it but you collect the flies and then when you are walking across different um, colors you can press your buttons like square, triangle, circle and X. X turns you blue, square turns you pink, triangle turns you green and circle turns you red. So do you see what I mean? So you can like, if you turn red to match the surroundings, then the video cameras can't see you. But obviously it gets more complex the, the further you go on. And you've got to be careful because you see how there's the white edge to the rug. Well, if you're in the white edge or even just on the floor and it sees you, it's very, very precise. So you have to be exactly in the right place when you're the color or it will spot you. So it's quite skillful. It comes down to analog stick control, the accuracy of your analog sticks. If you're very good at collecting the uh, stuff, then you'll find it quite easy. Um, but you've just got to remember, like, can you see the bottom left of your screen? You've got your little button layout, so you can see what colours if you if you need a reminder. But, I mean, who doesn't know the colours now? The little left hand of the screen there, triangle turns to green, square, circle X. So, oh, all right, that circle there is um, their checkpoints. But like I say, this is literally the beginning. I'm on level five here. So, it's, it's you make your way, and as you progress, um, obviously it gets harder and harder but I mean um, it's a nice little game to play it um, it's not too hard yet it's not too easy it's very doable so that makes it replayable because you think I can do this I can do this I can get past it I know what to do I just can't pull it off and that's the key to having a, an addictive game um, like I say about many of the PlayStation games that come out free um, the very mobile phone kind of games very simple gameplay simple premise but that makes it so so addictive and i think that helps in a title when you're trying to make a decent game um you know what i mean fuck the graphics off it's it just as long as you've got a decent um gameplay like it's it, that's what makes a good game some of the best games i've played have got like 16 bit graphics and shit like that um, even some of the retro games on the PlayStation Store if you have a look there's loads of titles and brand new games as well which have chosen to use the old graphics um, to give it like a retro style and so they're just great I love them mate but this is very addictive like I say you can just keep playing and I don't really know how many um, levels there is because I only played up to level 10 or something and then I turned it off um, like just to get the game footage for this um, but I'm sure it gets really complex later and uh, I'm sure in fact have a look on YouTube and I'm sure there's like some later levels in the trailer or whatever or there's other people playing it but that's only I mean you may as well download it if you're gonna do that shit. it doesn't take that long it's only a couple of gig I think it's like five gig or something and then um, you know what I mean there's hours and hours to play if you can be bothered so that's it really, so if you like the look of it, just go out and get it. It's free to download this month. That's it. See you later. You are a smelly pirate hooker.